Next we're going to put the Invasion Star on the back corner. This star, particularly because it's an Invasion Star and it's fairly large, is going to, is going to have some interference here between the, between the top bow bracket and, and the body handle. So what I'll do here is I'll, I'll cut some of our stencil down, use our tape and mask to protect these items, and in that manner we'll get it down on a flat surface. You don't want to try to bend this, this stencil up over stuff. So I'll start with that. We're going to take this set it about there. We'll be taking this top corner off the stencil. Feel in here about where that's at. Gonna have to, gonna have to get a little closer over here to get that away from the body handle. down here in this corner. Okay, so that's what we're going to end up doing. Cutting the corners away so we're clear of the two obstructions. Now, I'm going to use the, the mask for a line here. I'm also going to make a measurement from the points of the star up to the top of the body to see that I've got it on there square. That looks good. Now I see what I want to do. Okay, I will pull the transfer paper off. sort of loose and check your measurements and everything to make sure you're, you're good. Then to go around and do the top, just pull down a little so you don't get any wrinkles, get nice and smooth. Check these areas all along the stencil. Then we're ready to start masking off the right side. Here. And then we're going to have to be real particular here about this top bow bracket. Check. Bring little pockets where the ray can get around. Check our stencil one last time. See how our paint spraying nice. Give it a second to dry.
Okay, it looks pretty, pretty solid white now. Looking pretty good so far. Didn't get any underspray on the body handle with a topo bracket. Now let's we'll see if we can get this off. issues with the center of the star. But there it is, just like that. 